Hello, Soul Family. It's Shauna L. Francis, and today is January 15th, 2020. I've missed all of you. Thanks for being here. Um, lots going on in the world right now, right? Um, and a lot going on just in my little tiny world um, as well. So I've uh, been absent for a couple of weeks, um, been in Mexico, and uh, taking care of business down there. And we have started construction in earnest there, some renovations that need to happen to the four casitas that I have purchased. Um, that all should be closing next week. So it should be 100% final by next week. <laughs> it's a dream come true. Honestly, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so thrilled. And uh, again, soon, a few months, um, hope to be running um, spiritual programs, spiritual retreats, one-on-ones uh, through that property down in Mexico. Of course, we'll see where COVID goes and travel and all that good stuff, but um, I'm so excited. And so, yeah, I've not been doing a lot of meditation. I haven't seen much of Akatan. I've been uh, really not focused on, <laughs> on really my practice, which um, I'm really feeling that now. So I'm back home and <clears throat> I'm also dealing with uh, some divorce stuff, getting some things moved out of my house and I'm doing that today. I did that yesterday. Uh, so a little bit frazzled, you know, a little bit out there. Um, I also had a birthday on Monday the 11th. <laughs> so um, had some great fun in Cabo San Lucas for my birthday and had a few drinks. And I'm not drinking. So that was, you know, it's taken me a few days to recover from that. <laughs> so I've really felt it in my energy. You know, when I'm not meditating, when I'm not, you know, focused on some quiet time and it's just go, 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 and then you add uh, having a few drinks on top of that, um, it really does take a toll on my energy field and my still point and my ability to really kind of be present and, um, you know, just embody kind of a, a peace. So trying to get back into the swing of things. And thank God this morning, uh, the Galactic Federation of Light, as I sat down to meditate, did say they wanna make a video. So I'm really happy about that. So if you're new to my channel or if you're a new subscriber, welcome, 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 welcome. Um, I'm channeling the Galactic Federation of Light and <clears throat> these guys are talking about the Ascension and they are putting out a very specific frequency, energy frequency through my transmissions through these videos, and it doesn't matter if you're watching this in 10 years or you watched it uh, three months ago, it's gonna, the, the energy is gonna be there. The energy goes beyond space and time to reach what it needs to reach. Um, so it's very amazing that way, right? There's a lot about energy that we don't understand. Um, but again, the Galactic Federation of Light has said that they're putting out a frequency and we now have kind of a shared common collective frequency through these videos, through our work together, that is getting raised um, with every passing day as we get closer to this ascension. Um, <clears throat> so it's very exciting. I wanna just do a very shameless plug for um, a couple of books that I've written. So this little tiny thing here, you can read in 90 minutes. I channeled this in 2018, it's about the ascension, Archangels, Aliens and Prophecies, The Cosmic Unveiling of a New Earth. So this is this tiny little book, self-published here a couple of years ago. And then this, <clears throat> this last year, I Am the Beacon. So this is, a, this is a story of my awakening journey in the last couple of years, um, where everything in my world completely changed when this process started for me. And you can find this on Amazon. You could get an ebook version and all that good stuff. So I'd love for you to uh, check out my books if you're drawn to them, if that resonates. Um, <clears> then <throat> I'd say <clears throat> the last bit of business here is that, um, my dad, my dad's latest MRI from last week is looking good. The cancer is receding and shrinking. <laughs> so it's fantastic news. So, um, thanks again to everybody who's praying and sending energy and setting intentions for healing for my dad. Um, you know, it's all working, um, and his chemo and radiation and the other treatments that he's doing are working. So, um, I thank you for that and let's keep it coming. Uh, last night I sent him Reiki. I'm quarantining for a few days since I passed through, uh, LAX here, um, a few days ago. So I'm trying to stay clear, but I sent him Reiki and I'm experimenting with 
some kind of um, psychic surgery, I don't really know what you call this, but really intensive visualizations of the removal of cancer cells kind of draining out and um, you know turning into light particles. Um, so really getting specific there and inserting implants of energy in there that will create a pulse that will possibly help uh, disintegrate the cancer cells or disrupt them. So I'm experimenting with this stuff. What do we have to lose? You know, this is the time for miracles and manifestation and absolute creativity and putting our, our power to work. Uh, you know, you are an infinite being of light. Everything is energy. We are just figuring out what this means on a day-to-day -day basis. How do we live our lives knowing this, knowing that we're walking in an illusion, knowing that we create our experiences, that there's no such thing as a victim. Um, certainly for me, wow, I mean, in the last few months, <clears throat> this idea of really living, living the concept that this is an illusion and that everything has a place and everything happens for a reason and it's all for my soul's development and this evolution here and to burn off karma, it really has helped me. It's helped me with my divorce. It's helped me with my dad. It's helped me with other personal situations, um, even with the property down in Mexico. So, um, you know, get creative, guys. You know, bust through old habits of thinking and old ways of uh, moving through your day and try some of these new concepts on and actually put them to work. And I will say also, I mean, I am, I am reaching out for help from my guides just about every day, every day. Um, and I'm journaling several times a week. Um, you know, I am, I'm committed to this process. I, I love it so much and I know it's important and it's why I'm here and it's why I'm here. So, um, I'm wishing you all the best. I hope you're surviving all this, not only surviving, but thriving and don't feel guilty about being happy in these crazy times. This is why you're here. Don't feel guilty about how bright your light's going to be shining right now. You know, as the dark turns it up, we turn it up more. This is how this works. And the dark can never can never survive the light. It can't win in the light. So my starseed friends, the Galactic Federation of Light Earth Division, there's nothing worth you losing your light or dampening your light, okay? Um, that's not to say you're not going to have hard times or have tears or have moments of, of, of um, emotions that are that are heavy or worrisome. You will. I mean, we are still human here on this planet, right? And our emotions are very important. But recognize what's going on from a higher vantage point here, from a bigger perspective. Keep the bigger perspective in, in check. And <clears throat> those cycles where you're feeling down are going to get shorter, while the cycles where you're feeling up and happy and content and at peace and really understanding the bigger picture here, that's going to be longer. Um, so, <laughs> okay, I've really rambled on this morning. <clears throat> so um, I'm going to get quiet and uh, we'll see what the Galactic Federation of Light has to say. I'm very excited about this. <clears throat> Beautiful beings of light, we come to you here on this day of absolute rejoice, rejuvenation, transformation, love, expression of love. You knowing yourselves as the true expression of love of God's source. We absolutely want to congratulate all of you who have remembered who you are. <clears throat> who are choosing fearlessness with this awakening. Who are choosing to be not only okay with stepping into the unknown, but truly embracing it as a divine adventure, 
as one of the most exciting things you can embark on in this lifetime? This is where you get to turn it on, where you get to turn it up, where you get to fully see beyond the illusion, to see the illusion for what it is, to walk proudly, defiantly, yet humbly amongst this adversary who is not taking defeat lightly. We come to you and we shower you with absolute unconditional love, with absolute unconditional light frequencies. You only must reach out, grab this, pull it into you and accept it as you, as your birthright, as your innate ability. No more questioning, my friends, that this is happening to you, that this is something coming to you from outside, that this is some kind of a rescue mission, because it is not. <clears throat> In actuality, is you stepping into your power, into your freedom, going within and exuding this outwardly, fully encapsulating who you are, taking advantage of the gifts that you outlined for you before you incarnated here, <clears throat> walking firmly that path that you laid down in detail before you were born. Some of you have picked some tricky experiences. Might be hard to really see the lessons here and to embrace those as gifts for yourself. But truly, every experience is an opportunity. It is divinely orchestrated. It's who you are, why you've come here, how you have chosen to experience this world at this particular time. <clears throat> you're getting this concept. You're truly getting this concept. While you get to be amazed and be in delight with all the gifts that are here and all the abundance that's yours to take advantage of, know that you have, in essence, individually and as a collective, created these gifts for yourselves. This path is rich, it's bumpy, the peaks, the valleys. It's challenging for a reason. There are dynamics at play here, energetic dances happening, competing frequencies all of these things create your world, create your experience and help your soul evolve. <clears throat> Can you accept right now that everything that's gone on in your life has been of your making? And it's been your making out of absolute love for you and who you are and what you want to do, who you want to be, what you want to experience. Absolute 
as this really begins to take root, you'll see the blossoms and the buds, the new growth that happens as this concept is nurtured and really embraced. Who are you when you have decided that things are not happening to you as a victim? That people are not out to get you? That you are not the victim of circumstance? Who are you when you shed that concept, victimhood? Feel emboldened and absolutely empowered to choose for you who you are in this moment, to choose your emotions, to choose your thoughts, your behaviors, your actions, with your highest good in mind. Note your destructive tendencies, the processes you've put yourself under, making it oh so hard for yourself. See these struggles. Who and what are you struggling against? Pray for help on this. Ask your guides for help. Who and what? Who and what are you struggling against? Who are you wrestling with? Is it an ideology? Is it a lack of self-love? Is it self-hatred? Is it your ego who's overstretched itself? Imagine your world where your love frequency, your heart, your infinite soul of light is absolutely blinding to the struggle. And you get to just surrender to this. Are you willing to put down your weapons, forgive yourself, move into a new space of self-love, confidence, contentment. How are you serving yourself? How are you serving you? My friends, let's focus here. You're not always very nice to yourselves. Some of you have become accustomed to this concept that you are not worthy of this love and light. And we are telling you right now, you are worthy. It is your birthright and it is who you are beyond the illusion. And now this is your time to know this, feel this, exude this, become this, on all levels. This is amazing. This is a time for celebration. Make your service to you a focus.
What can you be doing to be absolutely gentle with yourself, loving to yourself unconditionally, forgiving yourself? Maybe this is exercise through food, through relaxation, through meditation. Continue to ask for guidance. Continue to pray for help. Visualize, see it clearly, who you want to be, how you want to be showing up here. What you want for your brothers and sisters, for Mother Earth. Begin moving to the idea that you truly are one with all, truly are a collective. You're part of a bigger collective here, one with all. You as a singularity are extremely powerful. As you walk this path and continue to integrate, push aside, eradicate the negative forces that you have adopted, chosen to experience here as you move past these things into bigger waves of bliss, of love, of energetic frequencies of light. Your power grows exponentially in terms of impacting the collective. So please, my friends, understand that you are a, a puzzle piece and a much grander puzzle, a much bigger picture here. You are the way showers. You're busting through debris so that others will have a much easier time following. But you are on the front lines here. It is a hard job. Not for the faint of heart. You'll say one last time, this earth is ready for ascension. This plane of existence is ready to move on in its evolution. You as a collective are ready as well. We will not downplay the strife, the chaos, the confusion, the hardships that those of your collective may be choosing to experience at this time. No, there are good reasons for every person's chosen experience. You must also choose what's best and right for you as a singularity. Do not succumb to what is very seductive in terms of dark energies. It would be easy to fall in line with that hatred, with that anger, with that fear, But that's not why you're here. More so than ever, it's time to turn the high beams on. It's time to walk this walk. It's 
steadfast, clear, determined, but always knowing, with faith and surrender, that your light and your love is enough. It's enough to change the world. And she is changing. You're changing. We are changing along with all of you. We love you unconditionally. We open our hearts to you. We embrace you. We see you. We hear you. We are you. And we are nurtured by your light. Glorious times. We rejoice. We love you. And with these messages, we leave you for today. Thank you, Galactic Federation of Light, for that. Okay, team, <laughs> it's pretty clear. You got this. We got this. I love you. I'm catching up on emails. I'm catching up on setting up one-on-one -on -one sessions. Thanks for your patience. Um, and I look forward to uh, continuing on this. All right, love you all. Mwah.